What the Hull is the headline this morning as Erling Haaland's magnificent mag, oh, la, la, magnificent <laughs> strike capped a dramatic Manchester City comeback against Haaland's former club Borussia Dortmund last night in the Champions League. So he's getting all the headlines for the right reasons. <clears throat> One man attracting attention for the wrong reasons is Jack Grealish. Against Borussia Dortmund, Gabby, these were his stats. Zero successful dribbles, zero accurate crosses, zero tackles won, zero aerial duels won. He was subbed off before the hour as well. Looking at those stats then, yeah. clearly didn't make an impact in the match. Um, how worrying is this time for Jack Grealish in his form? So I was watching the game. I had um, the Rangers game on my phone and on my iPad I had the Man City game. And I felt sorry for every Man City City player last night because... Yeah. They were playing against 10 buses behind mm -hmm. them. And I played in games myself where you play teams and, and you know, there's no space. Jack gets the ball. He's got three players around him. Mara has got the ball. There was players around him not being able to create anything. Haaland didn't touch the ball till he scored. Kevin De Bruyne was off it when he got the ball. There was bodies around him. So I don't look at them stats. I look at a game that I watched and Dortmund were outstanding defensively, covered the spaces, Whenever a Manchester City player tried to cross the ball, it was first. Um, it was a Dortmund defender who cleared it first. So sometimes you can look at stats and think, "Oh, I bet that wasn't the greatest performance." When you actually watch the game, you understand that it's difficult for Manchester City sometimes. Every game they play, they've got a breakdown. You know, eleven players behind the um, behind the ball. It's tough. And yes, there was one of them games where they saw it as. We've got 90 minutes to score our goals. They didn't have a shot on target to the 70th minute, I think it was, yeah. Manchester City, yeah. because they couldn't get through. So you can't just look at Jack. You've got to look at the whole team struggled to break down so, Dortmund. So is the criticism unfair? Being I think it's just unfair. And it's, it's, uh, it's people that are, um, you know, they want to see Jack fail. And I feel that you look at the team last night, Mares, you know, he got the ball. He had a lot of players around him, couldn't make an impact. Sometimes you've got to give credit to a team like Dortmund who had a defensive um, formation and sometimes it's hard to get past it and City struggled until Dortmund got tired and <clears throat> they um, got their two goals. It's a funny one, Gab. I'd love to know, I'd love to know Jack's thoughts and I would love to know Guardiola's thoughts. I'm not sure we'll ever get to hear the real honest version of their thoughts right now because I don't think Maybe I'm wrong. I don't think Guardiola sees it as big a problem as perhaps we're making out. Uh, and by that, I mean <clears throat> Guardiola totally recognises that the most important thing, thing by a country mile is the team and yeah. the team's performance and the team's results. And he'll clearly be very happy yeah. with, the, with the way things are going. You know what I see as well, Ali? When I watch them play, they're like robots. It's, it's like quick passing. Rodri gets the ball. He's got, to, he's got to pass it out to Jack. Jack gets it, sees it's 2v1. He's got to give it back to Rodri. Rodri to De Bruyne. De Bruyne to Mares. Mares can't get past the player. Keep it moving. You know, they're like robots. And if they don't do their job, they'll probably get hauled off. And you know, they'll get told by Pep, I told you to, to make the ball Keep work. The ball don't try and go on a run and lose the ball, you know? And they've got to play that way. And when they play against teams who are more um, aggressive attacking-wise, um, Real Madrid last season, I mean, how many times did Jack get past um, players and create chances? And when I've seen Jack playing in the Premier League for City and Champions League, when teams have attacked City and he's on the counter-attack 1v1, mm. yep. he drifts past players. So it's hard for any player in the world, Ali, when you've got so many players playing defensively against Jay. It's hard to break them down. Is it also hard the fact that he's n not a regular? He's in and out of the team. He can't really get any consistency, any momentum. Is that an issue or is that yeah, it can something be. you can overcome? It can be, be definitely. But honestly, watching the game last night, now, I'm like, I felt so for every Manchester City player. Because every time they got the ball, it was like, they were so cleverly um, coached Borussia Dortmund. And we'd been there, Ali, when we played Man United <coughs> back in the day and Chelsea... I was playing centre forward and I'm in my own half defending. Yeah. You know, I'm marking Paul Scholes in my own half and I'm the, I'm the lone striker because that's your tactics to stop such a good team from yeah. creating chances. And last she night, that's what they did. And sometimes it's, <clears throat> you can't break them down. One, one of the differences is, again, with Manchester City, <clears throat> I'm just looking at the substitutes that came on last night, Natalie, mm. right? 
Alvarez came on for Mares, Bernardo Silva came on for Gundogan, Foden came on for Jack Grealish, and Calvin Phillips came on for Haaland. <laughs> right, now, think about that. Think about the four that are coming off, and th- but think about the four that are going on. They start in 99% yeah. of the teams in the world, never mind England. Talk Sport Breakfast with Alan Brazil. Thursday and Friday morning, 6 till 10 on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.